What's going on guys? It's Sunday before race weekend and we're in the middle of prepping everything. We got the pit box going, we got all the tools out, tires, generators, transmissions, and one thing of course I forgot was fuel jugs. If you remember we had such an issue with fueling last year, maybe you don't, but uh, we just, between fuel pickup issues, fueling the truck issues, we just, we look like complete noobs, which we were. So this year we're gonna fix all that. I picked up four of these VP fuel cans, which are great. They look like race cans. And they do pour reasonably fast, especially compared to the antique technology like these red ones with no vents. But uh, there's a way to make them better, and that's what I'm gonna show you. So here's a factory fuel can, just as you buy from Royal Distributing or wherever, with a factory filler hose. As you can tell, we go from a nice big, probably three inch opening, down to like a three quarter inch hose, down to another probably half inch uh, pipe extension. That's way more restriction than we need. We've got our new setup here, is a two and a quarter inch clear fuel hose. I've hollowed out the factory filler neck. So there's zero restriction in there. That's a two and a quarter inch hole to pour fuel down. There's no reason to use this half inch extension. So the first thing we're gonna do is fix that and put a one inch hose on there. And then the other thing we're gonna have to do is a one inch hose would be fine, but this vent is gonna be inadequate. So we're also gonna vent the can. What we're gonna do is we're gonna compare this can as it sits to our mod also over to our tried and true, I don't know, the last 10 years or so, these things started coming without the vents. I think they're back, but it doesn't really matter. This is fun to place my bets. That's several minutes to empty that can. This one here is probably in the one and a half to two minute range. And hopefully, we'll see what happens, but hopefully we're definitely gonna be under a minute with my mods. Okay, so we'll quickly go step by step through how we're gonna do this. Um, it's pretty simple, here's your material list. We got some one inch hose for the filler, some 5 8 hose for the vent. I've got a nice little adapter I found at the hardware store, which is three quarter NPT to one inch. That'll go like that. This'll, sl this'll slide on the end of there. Bingo, bango, you're done. The vent was a little bit trickier, so <laughs> I went to the electrical end of the hardware store and found these uh, 90 degree liquid tight fittings, which are for like conduit and stuff. But just so happens that 5 8 hose slides right on there perfectly. And it's got like a O-ring and a lock ring on the backside. So we should be able to use that to vent the can and seal it. It's called a liquid tight fitting after all our connection. So that should be good. So what I did next was uh, Mark the can right here for a spot for our vent. We're gonna drill a hole to mount that liquid tight fitting. Um, it needs to be in a spot where you can kind of attempt to reach anyways. I think I'll need to hire help with someone with smaller hands than me to uh, thread on the lock ring. But if, it's, if you put it way down at the bottom, then you'll never reach your hand in there. Um, it should be perfectly fine here. I think it's not really any different in height from the factory vent. Uh, who knows if we'll still use this, we may just plug it shut. But I think this is a reasonable spot, so we'll grab the, uh, the old hole, hole saw and put a hole in our brand new can, see what happens. So not even five minutes of work, and we've now modified this can with a big one inch dump line. Here's that fitting we were talking about, drill the hole in there sent the vent down to the bottom so when you flip the can upside down, the fuel doesn't come gushing out. That's one thing I forgot to mention. Another reason we want to put the vent up high so that when the cans are sitting there full, the fuel level is actually below. So you only actually have fuel potential to leak 
on that o-ring seal while you're fueling when it's just sitting in the pits waiting to go it's not weeping out the bottom or anything so that's another reason to put your vent up high versus your stock can so i mean this looks good and looks like it will pour fast but we're about to find out maybe maybe i completely wasted my time and ruined a can we'll see all right so instead of using gasoline i decided to do my test with water i think it's going to be a little bit more environmentally friendly for what i'm about to do which is dump water all over the, all over this dead grass so let's see what the first can how long it takes to dump are you ready because i'm not i feel like this is going to take a while three two one Call that good, what was that? I'd say two and a half minutes. Ridiculous. Let's try the next can. All right, so I got the factory stock VP can. Let's see how long this takes. Vents wide open for reference. Still going. There you go, time. What was that? I'd say that's probably minute 20 ish. I'll put the time down below. But uh, not bad, not bad. Probably half, half the time of the red can. And again, we're going five gallons. I measured it out perfectly on all three cans. All right, so now's the moment of truth. Let's see if our mod can did anything or if we wasted our time completely. Cross your fingers. Oh, oh. hose is a little bit too stiff still but once that's jammed down the filler neck you dump that thing upside down it won't have that same issue I don't know what that was for time but it was definitely definitely quicker than the factory can well hopefully you guys enjoyed that type of how-to video it's something new for us but uh, let's know in the comments below if that was worthwhile you want to see more like that obviously uh, maybe the competition is gonna be using these tricks now but that's okay this is nothing revolutionary this is literally basic science if a larger opening and a big vent is obviously going to dump faster this is just a cheap efficient way to make these cans dump faster i mean you don't even have to be in competition motorsports to use this but hopefully you guys got something out of this video like share subscribe all that stuff we appreciate it we'll see you at the track next weekend